Hello and welcome again to another culture activity. Um, we are so excited to offer this opportunity virtual to all of those out there. Today what we're going to be making is we're going to be making a beaded ornament. So looking something like this or um, this. You can choose your colors. We have pre-made a packet for you that has bugle beads in it, um, they are size five. It has seed beads in it that are size 11, a needle, fire, and fire line, and then an ornament for your collar to go over it. A little bit about um, the collar. It's used by different tribes, and for the Chickasaws, we make a collar that looks similar to one like this that has longer bugle beads. The smaller collar that we're gonna make today for the ornament is made the exact same way, just with different size bugle beads. So I'm really excited to share that with you. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, or afterwards, if you'd love to share your artwork, please feel free to shoot me an email um, listed here below. So if you find yourself not being successful, that is completely fine. This is a little bit more of an advanced beading technique, so feel free to take a break, rewind the video, start over. Um, it's, it's a learning process, and so I wouldn't expect it to happen right away, but hopefully over time and rewatching the video, it can be uh, successful. Okay, so now we're gonna move forward with a close-up of all of this, so feel free to pause, um, rewind, whatever helps you. So I've threaded my needle, and the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add 15 seed beads to create that loop. And so a way that I find helpful is if you hold the needle flat and then you pop the beads onto your needle. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And so that technique might take a little bit of time, but basically what it is is you hold the needle flat and you just pop, pop, you hit the side of that bead and it should pop onto your needle. Once I have my 15 beads, I'm gonna pull them to the bottom of the thread, leaving a little bit of a tail so I can tie a knot. And then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna hold it to where the tail is facing me and I'm gonna go back through the bottom two seed beads. So see how I use my needle just to kind of pull those two seed beads down? I'm gonna go back through going towards me so that means the tail and the needle should both be going towards me. And I'm gonna pull my needle thread. And what that is going to do is that is going to create this little loop, like pop. We have a little loop at the top. That is our loop one. And again, we only need 12, so we're almost there. We got 11 more to go. And then I'm gonna make a knot to secure that loop. Just one knot. And later on, we'll hide this tail um, in our work. So now I have my loop and my needle, and I'm gonna start with that pattern. Your seed beads um, are gonna be all one color, but you can always have an accent color in the middle. I'm gonna do an accent color in the middle today just to help you know what bead to go through. So for my first line, I'm just gonna work straight down. I'm not gonna be connecting or anything like that. So I'm gonna do a bugle bead, three seed beads, a bugle bead, three seed beads. And I'm gonna do this until I have five bugle beads. And I'm making that gold color my accent, so that way you'll be, it'll be easier for you to see me go through that middle bead. All right, I'm gonna pull these all the way up to my loop. Awesome, and so I have one, two, three, four. I need one more, so I'm gonna do three seed beads and a bugle bead. Now here is where the connecting comes in. So we're at the bottom of our loop, or we're at the bottom of our first strand, and we're gonna do three seed beads, but this is not This is going to be to make a loop to connect to the other side. So I'm gonna do three of the same color, so that way you recognize it's not actually part of my line. And I'm gonna do a bugle, and now this next part, I'm gonna be working up, so I'm gonna do three seed beads, but this one is gonna have a middle change because I'm gonna to connect to this one later on. And then I'm gonna do one bugle bead again, 
So this is gonna be my other side. And then I'm gonna do one seed bead. And the reason why I'm only doing one is because I'm gonna create an X by going through my first row, okay? So here's my three at the bottom. I have one, two, and then I have one extra seed bead. I'm gonna connect it to make a diamond. And so I'm gonna be going through that middle seed bead, which for mine is gold, and yours will be the same, but I'm just gonna go up through that middle seed bead, just that one alone. And that should create a diamond. And so there is our first diamond. Now we have to finish that X. And so finishing that X, I'm gonna add one more seed bead. I'm gonna do a bugle bead, three seed beads, a bugle bead, and one seed bead. And you can always look at your diagram if that helps. Now I'm gonna pull these down so you can see better. And look at where it aligns. I'm gonna go through this middle gold one again to create another diamond. So each of our rows should kind of have two diamonds. So if you need to kind of fold it back to go through that, see how my needle went through that middle bead? And this way I'm working up. In a minute, I'm gonna be working down. We're back up at the top, so now what we're gonna do, you can always feel free to look at your diagram. We're gonna add four seed beads. One, two, three, four. And notice if we add four, we're just gonna start where we left off. So if we, if we add four, then we're gonna count up on our first loop. We're gonna go one, two, three, four. We're gonna go through beads five, six, seven. So what I like to do is I like to just pinch it, and then I'm gonna go through beads five, six, seven. And that's actually gonna be part of our loop too. So we had four, we went through five, six, seven. I'm gonna pull these tight. And now we're gonna add eight more seed beads. And the same thing that we did on the first loop where we went down through two, I'm gonna use my needle and kind of pull back and I'm gonna go down through these two, not through the bugle bead, but down through the bottom two seed beads. Pull my thread and I have loop two. <laughs> Good job. Now we only have 10 more to go. It's awesome. So I'm gonna show you working down now. So down, we're gonna connect to this gold one and this gold one. So if you forget, just kind of add until you feel like it makes sense to go through that gold one. Or look at your diagram. So we're gonna do a bugle bead, three seed beads, a bugle bead, one seed bead. And we're gonna go through that middle bead to create, right, like what we see up here, which is an X. So I like to pick it up. I'm just gonna go through that gold one, just the middle one, pull it tight, and now I have another diamond. And we're gonna do it again. Add one seed bead to finish out that X, a bugle bead, three seed beads, a bugle bead, one seed bead. So it's like one, bugle, three, bugle, one. And that will be the pattern kind of continuing. I'm gonna go through that middle gold one to create another diamond. Now, this part gets a little bit confusing because we're back at the bottom and we need to get all the way back up to connect to this side. So we're just gonna add a couple extra beads and we're gonna add that bottom. So we're gonna do one seed bead to finish the X, a bugle bead. Now I'm gonna add three seed beads and I'm gonna do this twice because what I want is I want these to be at the bottom. So these are actually part of the same second line. And I'm gonna do a bugle bead. This time I'm gonna do my three seed beads where the middle one's different because I'm gonna be connecting to this one. A bugle bead and one seed bead. And if you're getting a little bit lost, just pull your work all the way down and see where it lines up because we just wanna finish that diamond. And so if we see, if we kind of push it, we see, oh, okay, if I go through this one, it makes a diamond. If you're missing or it's too short, you might have forgot this part or forgot this part. And so we're just gonna go back through the gold one. 
and we're gonna work our way up to loop number three. So remember, we're here. Think about what we do next. We wanna finish that X. So we're gonna add one seed bead, bugle. We're trying to get up here to connect. Three seed beads, so I added two, a bugle, and one seed bead. And just pull it all the way down so you can see where it connects. We notice, oh, there's my diamond. So we're gonna go through that gold one, which is my middle one. I'm gonna pull it all the way and then ask yourself, what's next? We're gonna finish the X, so one more seed bead, a bugle bead, we're back up top. I'm gonna show you how to make this row and then we're gonna jump forward to the end. So if you need to watch it, just rewind it and we can keep watching it. So since we're back up to the top, we're gonna create loop number three. And loop number three, we add four seed beads the same. We're gonna go through beads five, six, and seven. So I'm counting up. We're gonna add eight seed beads to finish our loop. Remember that needle technique where you just hold them on the side and they pop on. There's four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're gonna go back down through numbers one and two. And the great thing about this is if you wanna follow along, just rewind to where I went back down after we did loop two and you'll be able to watch the same thing. 